Hey everyone. So, I got them all cleaned up. got all the baby powder off. I wiped them out with isopropyl alcohol. It's been about an hour. So, once you do the alcohol, I usually leave it so you, it fully dries. Because it does tend to make it a little bit sticky at first. So, you don't want to touch your paintings after you wipe it down without the, the alcohol. So, this was the one from the last painting that I would show you guys. So, I did play with it a lot more afterwards off screen. Added a lot more trees, a little bit more texture, added the little mountains, came back in and gave it a little bit more of that Northern Lights look to it. Used a little bit of the Color Shift Aqua over that. Gives it that nice sheen. I don't know if you can see it in there. And then came back with the Dark Knight and some iridescent paint. And for fun, uh, can I... Can I get it? Can you see the oh there we go. The little bits of glitter on the top there. That was little stars and everything. Kinda of give it that night sky. But so that's that one. Next, I've got this one all cleaned up. This one's ready to be resined for Trevor. Um Terry, I still haven't heard back from you at all. Not sure if you saw the video. Terry Plouts or Plots, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I'm terribly sorry about that. But if you're out there, if you're watching this one, you are the second winner. If I don't hear back from you by Sunday, I'll probably end up doing a redraw for the second winner. So keep that in mind, Terry, if you're out there. Then I did two other paintings. Let's start off with this guy. So I did this one, it kind of reminds me of... Um, what is that movie? The Matrix. It was a swipe with the metallics. I went over and I used that Art Deco triple thick onto it to give that glossy sheen, but I think I'm going to go in with a white paint pen afterwards, and because it does remind me of The Matrix, <laughs> I think I'm just going to add a few lines coming down of zeros and ones in a white paint pen. I think that'll be fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> And these two, so I had a friend over, I was kind of showing him different paint, different paintings, how to paint pour. So I showed him this one, I showed him the rest and I told him, go free. And so this was his, so it'll be um, varnished here soon, or resin, I haven't decided yet. But we'll see. I do like the way they came out though. I've had this painting for like a year now, a year and a half. So I wanted to play with the idea of adding a fish. If I can log back in. This thing doesn't want to work right now, but so there's these little purple and yellow king's fish. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Here we go. So the Royal Grandma Fish, that's what they're called, and I just figured I would add a couple of these guys. Can you see them? So I absolutely love the way the purple, it looks blue on the screen I think, but it's like an ultraviolet kind of purple, and it shifts over into yellow. But I love that pattern in between. And so I wanted to play with this painting I did like a year ago now. I've never liked the way the varnish finished on here or anything. So it was one of my first attempts at doing like a, a neutral rainbow palette. It kind of reminds me of like that iridescent film in the city after the rain. In the water. That kind of exhaust oil kind of thing that it does. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I didn't hate the painting completely. I still love a lot of the aspects of it. But I just feel like it needs more. So stay tuned. I, um, there will be a time-lapse video for this one. Painting on those little fishes. So... 
back to these little guys that I got at Hobby Lobby today. Um, I think I'm going to play with these 5x7. Let me get them all prepped and we'll be right back. Okay everybody, so now that we got them all pinned up, taped up, dolled up, ready for a night on town, let's get started. So, I got an invite today to a violin duo. It's um, Sky Island Quartet here in town. So, I'm going to go off the inspiration of that. So, the colors I want to choose today. I'm going to play with some metallics. So, I'm choosing the Master's Touch again. I'm going to throw in some Black Splash. Black Splash. Black Flash from Color Shift. Some black. And I'm going to add a little of the Color Shift um, Aqua to it. Just a splash. And I'm going to stick with the same style I did on my other ones. Pretty much keeping the negative space going right down the center and using a straw to kind of feather it out or smoke it out or I'm not sure what term. Kind of looks like smoke afterwards, so. Let's get started. So, got my straw. Let me grab my gloves. Two hours later. Approximately 10 hours later. So we don't need a lot, so I'm just going to add a little bit of flow to each of the cups. So I got one part flow trial. Let's me add the one part paint.
Oh, I'm already excited looking at those colors, and I've never mixed the aqua with the, the aqua flash with the black flash before, so it's really something new. Oh, before I forget. I do want cells, so I'm going to be adding. Look at this. Look at all this silicone. Crazy. Um, Gonna use this guy. So I was playing with mixing different silicones from treadmill silicone to methicone, um, and different brands from KY to Move, or One Move. Just mixing them all up and seeing the results I could get of mixing the different silicones. And I like the way that they play well, like together. I know they're just silicone, but. I've never mixed dimethicone with silicone before, but I do like the results. I mean, in the bottle you can see a little bit, I don't know if you can, but under light you can see how they, they kind of swirl together instead of actually fully mixing. So, but they still, they still blend together and then still create cells. So I still like the way they they end up. And I am adding a silicone spray to the little cups to help release them just a little bit. You don't need a lot. For all of you that's new and watching this, silicone spray inside a cup. It's a little trick I picked up from Christina Welsh. She has an amazing channel. You should go check it out. But rubbing it in there, it helps release the paint so when you're done you don't have just a cup lined with paint. It allows all the paint to drop onto the canvas. Let's get the white out. Now this may get a little bit messy. Let me, you know, I'm going to pause real quick and I'll be right back. And we're back. All right, sorry about that. I just needed to use uh, other gloves for a minute and they're loud and crinkly and pretty obnoxious, to be honest. I still haven't picked up any new latex gloves. So, till then, ta-da, nice, shiny finish on both of them. I already told you I got rid of the bubbles. So, we're just gonna do two pours right down the center and then use the straw across, so let's start layering. I'm going to start off, I'm going to use the black. I'm not going to use any white in this. And I'm thinking I'm going to just make them pretty identical and just change up the, the wrap that I put them in. So let's throw on some gold. I'll start off with the copper on this one. All of the aqua into both. Next, we'll throw on some of the bronze. This one will get the black flash. Very similar in looks though the bronze and the black flash. Both of them will get some white shot down the center. Or black shot down the center. <laughs> Alright, so this one will get its gold now. And this one is copper. I think I want this one to have a lot more copper and this one to have more gold, so we'll hold off on They're both going to get equal parts of this bronze.
equal parts of aqua. And it's just went off with its gold. And finish this one off with the copper. Oh, we're at it. black flash of that one. There we go. So, cut my straw. Let me move some of this out of the way. Torch is handy. There we go. Alright, so typically the way I like to do it is I'll go down in one direction first, move it around a little bit, come back with the second half and do another right down the center. So let's stir this up a smidge so it's not completely boring in there. And let's start. So I'm going to do nice and slow because I want it kind of thick at first. Still enough in there. All right, so let's come back. A little lightly come down the center. Move a little bit heavier in it that way. Now I want to keep most of that white negative space, so I'm just going to rock this back and forth. There's a lot of paint on here. But that aqua with those metallics, I'm kind of in love. Like, can you guys see that? I'm trying to do. Oh, I already did. Alright, so let's get this second one going. Actually, I wanted to load it out real quick and then we'll start on that one. So, get your handy dandy straw ready. Now I kind of do it backwards. I use this end and I use that end to blow. It's a little bit easier to work with. So I do apologize for my hat. Now this is going to continue to move, but I am happy with that. This one came out with just nothing but cells.
I don't think I'm gonna add second I think I'm gonna do one of those small hexagons, just a flip clip onto it, and just blow edges out of this one. Absolutely loving that one. Ooh, these colors are intense. I love it. Alright, so. Little hexagon time. Let's get the frillies on here. And have the least amount, and then this one. Oh, I am excited! Up some of these sides. So that's it. I'm in love. I absolutely love this color combination. I can't wait to see it dried and resined into my pile of paintings to be resined. My many, many paintings. Uh, so let me bring you guys in for a quick close up of what we got. I'm absolutely loving these colors. So stay tuned for part two. When they're dry, I will be coming back in and doing some more line art. And I'm going to try to keep that a thing here. Is embossing or coming in and embellishing on top of my paintings. Because I got to do something. <laughs> I absolutely love paintballs, but I need to add something to them. 
It's the graphic artist, the fine artist, the years of formal training of doing all of that that just screams paint on me and make me into something more. So we keep up with that. <laughs> keep being a voice, right? But for now, you guys take care, stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of that. Let's try to hit 10 million views and subs by the end of it, maybe? No? Okay. Well, you guys have a good day or night. Bye. Also, let me know what you guys think of a good intro outro to my videos. Because right now, just, hey guys, you know, I don't know if that's strong enough in my outro. Alright, bye. You know, <laughs> I need something a little bit more pow. Leave a comment below on what you think I should say or do. <laughs> Alright. Christina Walsh and I started a GoFundMe. Um, in hopes to do a collab with her out in North Carolina. That should be fun. Only problem is, is we need a little help, that's the GoFundMe. So I'm gonna put a link below. If you guys wanna see a collab between Christina Walsh and I, and you wanna make that happen for us, let us know by going to that link and helping us get to our goal. That'd be amazing. I mean, not every day do we get opportunities like this presented to us, so I'm trying to do everything in my power to make this happen. So, thank you guys, love you, and I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs>